Alright everybody, what is going on? Public service announcement guys, just one, well two actually. The first one is, yeah, do I look different? Because I look different to myself, that's for sure. <laughs> the beard's gone, it's fucking gone. I had one too many comments, I was like, nah, it's, it, it, it's time to go. But I tell you what, when I did finally take it off, I looked at myself in the mirror. I took the sides off first, the, the bottom was still there and, and uh, ended up taking, taking the bottom off and um, took my first look in the mirror and uh, I shat my pants. I absolutely scared the shit out of my... I thought my face had changed shape. I thought like, oh my god, you should have seen my face. Well, I mean, you can see my face. should have seen my reaction, sorry. What I had to remind myself is that the reason why I grew the beard is to extend the, the profile of my chin, right? Because I'd always wanted that. When I took it off, I thought my face had shrunk. I was like, my chin isn't that small. What the fuck's going on? I thought my face had got wider and shrunk uh, its height. So, uh, about that, um, I don't even know what to say. But here we are. <laughs> what do you think? It's not that bad. Is it? Nah, it's not that bad. Anyways, okay, so forget about that. Get, get, get the shock out of your system. Okay, the beard's gone. The fucking hair's gone, the beard's gone, it's... Oh my god. I don't know what I've done. <laughs> I'm moving on. That's what life's all about. It's about completing goals, which was to grow my hair and to grow a beard and, and moving on. So anyways, two public service announcements. Number one, the beard's gone. Number two, I got my first two proper college leather American footballs. I went to East Bay. A lot of you guys have told me to go to East Bay to get some um, genuine, uh, what is it, Wilson official NCAA game ball. And I got two of them. So that's the invoice. And it took about a week to get here. And I still haven't opened them yet because I wanted to do it on camera. So here we are. Let's do it. Yeah, they've definitely got a bit of a different feel about them. Yeah, you can probably scratch that. Because it's leather, right? Huh. What is it? Leather 1005 NFHS AFCA. <laughs> Made in the USA. NCAA. Yep, that'll do nicely, I reckon. Real nicely. And I'm really glad I got two now. So, not only do I have these two, I've got my three other fake balls that I thought were real when I bought them, but they're not. And uh, finally, once and for all, I've got the real thing. So, as far as drills, running back drills, you know, catching, uh, and of course, punting and kicking, because that is the, the angle that I'm going to be focusing on as far as my future football career, if it does happen. But there, there is one thing I just needed to find out. I had heard you have to do some sort of preparation with them to get the grip working properly. You have to put them in water or something. So I'm going to ask Google right now. How do you prepare a leather college football for a game? Here is a matching video. Oh, how to prepare your Wilson football. Boom! It's exactly what we need. Thanks, Google. To extend life and grip of your football. What are we done? Conditioning lotion. Tech spray. Okay, so you've got to like rough it up basically. Rough it up, is that right? You need to sort of brush it and uh, 
make it tacky, as they say. And the, the, the first time I heard about tack was when I saw Jerry Rice when he talked about cheating. And uh, he said that uh, his gloves weren't as tacky as some of the other guys. So he used some of that stick em, I think he did. And um, hey, I might do the same thing. <laughs> but I won't tell you about it. Okay, so we've got two balls. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do anything to them. I'm just going to... I think they're pumped up, alright? Honestly, I reckon I'm just going to go down to the park and start kicking them. So, short and sweet video, I hope. It's been going for five minutes. Uh, I hope you've gotten over the shock, like I have, finally. It's been about a week since I shaved this off, and it's, it's, it's only today that I've been able to really face myself in the mirror and be like, oh yeah, yeah, okay, that's, that's you. But it's funny because every person that I've seen, like at the gym and stuff, I'll walk in and I'll forget that it's, it's gone. You know, they look at me funny and I'm like, oh yeah, shit, <laughs> I'm taking my beard off. But what they keep saying is, oh, you know, this is, this is the Jacob I remember, you know, Jacob's back, Jake's back, you know. <laughs> so everyone was calling me a Jew and saying I was freaking, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's that guy's? What's that guy's? Abraham Lincoln, that was the one. So look, we've got no Abraham Lincoln going on anymore. It's back to Jacob. Jacob McDonald. We've got two proper college American footballs. And we're about to go and do some training. Which will be Jacob McDonald football training day 11. So any of you guys who have been here for my football training days, you know, I want to say thank you. It started off as a bit of fun. I wouldn't say I'm completely 100% serious because I don't have any coaches. I haven't been catching the ball from a proper quarterback, but I've done what I can. You know, I've done all that I can and I appreciate all you guys' support. You know, whatever I do on those videos, there's always a lot of great constructive criticism and that's what I've always needed. You know, I'm, I'm mature enough to take it and I'm mature enough to realize when I need it. And of course I do, I do need it. I've never played football before. But getting these two real American footballs is just one step closer and that's all we're doing is just taking one step at a time and um, hey, thanks for coming along for the ride. So if you have liked this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. I will see you soon. Peace out. Bye.